Fortunately, more than two years in a motel is about to come to an end for a Houston mom who lost her home during Hurricane Harvey. It was her husband's dream home and his death made it her mission to rebuild. Tonight, Larry Seward shows us how strangers are standing for Houston and hoping to finish the job by Christmas. Redonna Miller's home is where her heart broke. Hurricane Harvey wrecked it. Contractors made things worse. Now, two years and three months later, strangers. Hey, why does it feel like you have a Sound close to fixing all but one critical piece. Please understand that he had a very weak heart, and I. Bobby Williams emptied his savings to buy his wife the house with a white iron fence and cashmere gardens, then two feet of water barged in. It was scary because we didn't know when it was going to stop. Both disabled, unable to work, Bobby's bad heart and Radonna's crippling arthritis kept them home four days waiting for rescue, which felt like nothing compared to what happened with repairs. Permits were needed, mm -hmm. and that's where it all started falling apart. She says at least three groups took FEMA money and promised quick fixes, then gave up when things got tough. Inspections failed, the couple's new home needed foundation, even their sewer line needed replaced. 19 long months later in a motel, William's heart stopped beating. His dream of going home died too, or so his wife thought. For the first time, I, I, I saw progress. I mean, it was like actually people working, the leveling got done. Rapper Trey The Truth's Relief Gang teamed up with West Street Recovery and Nito's Home Renovators to get Miller home by Christmas. If I were to close my eyes, of course my husband would be there with me uh, in my heart. It's not quite her dream, but living her husband's is the only gift able to soothe her broken heart. In Cashmere Gardens, Larry Seward, KTOU, 11 News. Once again, a nice move by Trey The Truth. Sure is, and there are so many people still in need. It's a reminder of that as well. Mm.